If your dream is to make an action packed movie, get a seat because we are about to look at some add ons that are going to blow your mind away. And not only add ons, but processes and courses that show you how to make a proper action sequence, from action scenes like John Wick to car chases, explosions, and more. So, number one, we have the cinematic motorcycle race animation course. Action sequences evolve a lot of things from rigging, animation, camera control, pacing and more. So the first step should be finding a comprehensive course that will teach you all of this and that is the Cinematic Motorcycle Race course. This course shows you how to create a John Wick inspired action sequence from scratch from creating the bridge environment to making the character and then the animation. Number two, cinematic pre-animated camera moves. What turns a good car chase into a great one is how you move your camera. Camera motion can be used to show speed and add tension to your action sequence, but good camera motion is also hard to master. That's why it's great that you can use pre-animated camera moves by pros who have mastered the art of camera movement. This pack comes with over a hundred camera moves across nine categories from cinematic, chaotic, FPV, flyovers, pushes, pulls, pans, zoom, and a lot more. You can use these camera movements for product reels, music videos, short films, VFX shots, simulations, and more. Number three, the Ride Blender Camera Animation Course. Camera movement and animation is just half of the job. You still need to know when to cut or change cameras for tension, continuity, and more. You also need to learn project planning, editing, sound design, lighting for action, and more. These are all things that are covered in the Blender Animation course for cars. Number 4. Ragdoll Tools If you want to increase the production value of your shorts, Ragdoll Physics is the way to do it. You can add characters jumping out of a moving car or being thrown out of a moving car. Something like that is hard to animate by hand, but add-ons like Ragdoll Tools can handle that with ease. All you have to do is animate the character jumping out and then from there you let the add-on take over. It will handle the collisions and everything from there. Number 5. RBD, a physics based vehicle rigging add-on. If you have no time or patience to keyframe and animate your cars, no worries, I don't either. I use the physics based vehicle rigging add-on. You just tell the add-on what car or thing to chase and the car will automatically steer and drive in a convincing way chasing the target object. The add-on is also physics based so you can have things like collisions and collision avoidance automatically within your animation. Number 6. RBD Lab Your action scene is likely going to need things like breaking and fracturing objects that lead to dust, debris, smoke, shattered glass and more. This is what the RBD Lab add-on is designed for. It makes the whole process of shattering, breaking and fracturing objects very easy and not only that you can control how the objects fracture and secondary particles and dust are added for you automatically the particle library production value is simply adding extra detail detail that may be overlooked by others like plastic bags or newspapers flying by as the action takes place or birds jumping out of the way or sparks flying on collisions. These are all templates you can find in the particle library add-on. It's basically a collection of several Boyd systems that add production value to your shots. Number 8. Car Transportation Add-on If you are making a car chase sequence, I hope you're not modeling the cars from scratch because one car is going to take you at least a week to model and you are going to need more than one. So save yourself the pain and time by using the transportation add-on that comes with over 70 realistic vehicles, fully rigged and ready to admit. Number 9. Physical starlight and atmosphere. Even action scenes need a setting, an environment where the action is going to take place. All environments start with the background, and all backgrounds start with a sky. The sky is not just a backdrop of your animation, but it's also used to light your scene. So you need a solution that is going to be easy to work with and provide the quality and detail as a backdrop and dynamic lighting needed for a high quality render. And for that, the physical starlight and atmosphere has been my go-to add-on for both EV and Cycles renders. Number 10. If your action sequence is taking place on the streets, you probably need a street with buildings. And since your camera is going to be about 3 meters from the ground, you need detailed streets and buildings that are designed for close-up shots with street signs, neon signs, detailed shops and more. This can all be found in the Procedure Alice add-on. Everything is procedural, so no street will look the same. Number 11, we have procedure crowds. Your action sequence will look boring if it's happening on empty streets. Raise the stakes by having your fight or catch a scene around a populated area with people running around. You can do this with procedure crowd, which has just received a new update to include weight painting. Now you can easily control the density of the crowd 
by using white painting. Number 12 of Gobolite's textures. Action is not just about chase scenes and fights, it's also about composing the perfect shot, making sure your audience focuses where you want them to focus. You can easily frame your action using gobos. Light gobos are shadows casted from off-screen objects. They add realism and can help you frame your shot, making sure your audience focuses on the right areas of your shot. They can also help add detail to your action. For example, you can have an array of gobos casting shadows onto a speeding car, which adds a sense of speed to your shot. You can't really have an action scene without explosions, fires, dust bursts, booms, and so on. The Lazy VFX VDB library is a collection of all types of detailed explosions you will ever need for your action sequence. Thank you for watching. Those were some amazing add-ons that you could use for your action sequence to help you speed up your workflow and produce high quality renders. If you still have some time for learning Blender, here are some previous tutorials I made for your viewing. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.